All right, around here, the smoke was a little bit better, even if we nearly hit record-breaking heat. Chief Meteorologist Mike Nelson joins us now at 5. Mike? Hi, you guys. Yeah, it's going to be kind of a hazy, warm evening. No rain around the Denver area. The sky is a little less smoky, but it's still pretty smoky. 87 degrees at 7 p.m., 78 by 11 p.m., 72 by the time we get closer to midnight. And as far as today, we just missed tying the record. 96 was the high, 97 last year the record. The average high is at 88 degrees, and currently it's still 94 at the airport, 93 at our studios, 10% humidity. Not going to get much rain out of that. And the pressure 3004 falling, air quality issues for ozone and the wildfire smoke particles. So that's the air quality ozone alert area in the gray. There are a few scattered storms right down near the New Mexico border and to the north is a cold front that will slip into northeastern Colorado tonight and that means we'll be slightly cooler tomorrow. Expect the morning low temperature at 58 for Sterling and Greeley. We'll do about 60 degrees in Denver, 59 at Fort Collins, 39 at Leadville, out west 63 at Grand Junction and 54 at Durango. And along the front range, coolest temperatures up around Walden and Kremling in the low 40s, Grand Lake 49. Otherwise, 50s the mountains and low 60s on the plains. There's that front tomorrow morning. We'll have partly cloudy skies here. A little smoke and haze will continue mostly in the mountain areas tomorrow morning. Hazy and warm there in the afternoon, a bit cooler on the northeast plains. Some storms form over the mountains, mostly gusty ones, but some stronger storms may form out near the Kansas border. Still 99 tomorrow at Grand Junction and 100 at La Junta, but only upper 80s to around 90 for the front range area. So still hot, but not all that unusual for this time in August. Tonight's forecast is hazy, mild, and 60 for tomorrow. The high temperature expected at 90. Here's what happens after that. That front starts to go back to the north by the time we get into Friday, but there's more moisture around, so some scattered storms. Same story for Saturday, and then by Sunday, hotter, drier air comes back in. But there's another front. That's going to arrive early next week and may bring us some rain and cooler temperatures. So 90 tomorrow, low 90s Friday and Saturday with a few storms. Hotter, drier, Sunday, Monday, mid to upper 90s. And then by Tuesday and Wednesday of next week, a better chance of getting some showers and thunderstorms with temperatures dropping back into the upper 80s.